So yes, I am back with Dual Whips, and um, ever since the newest patch that came out, um, all whips have had a um, damage, an AR increase, and it has been glorious. In all of the whips' glory, it has been glorious. And I've really been having fun with uh, these things again. Um, I haven't been using my uh, bleed whips, my notched whips anymore, but I've been sticking to um, dual power stanced old whips and the bloodied whip, which is um, almost as good as the old whip, um, just with a tad less AR um, attack rating. Now, um, the old whips do... Um, what is it? Not degrade. Um, you know, lose durability a lot faster than any other weapon in the game, I'm pretty sure. Maybe except for the ladle. But, um, you know, I've kind of... I mean, as you'll notice, I'm, I'm more or less naked. <laughs> I'm not really wearing any clothes, um, so I don't have the best armor on. And um, I've changed my ring, um, my ring configuration a lot, not which rings I choose to wear. Um, now, I don't have the third dragon ring on in the series or any of the um, sessions I've been doing. When I use the old whips, what I'll do is equate the Embracing Knuckle Ring plus two. Um, Chloranthi plus two, and um, oh, what's that other one? The Ring of Blades plus two, and um, my new, my new, my newly discovered, or should I say, newly favorite, um, Red Tearstone Ring, for when and if I get into that um, twenty, what is it, twenty-five percent range. Um, I have that for both whips, um, except when I use the what is it, the bloodied whips. I'll switch out the bracing knuckle rings for. It was something. I forgot. I changed it out with something. It's probably not important. But yeah, my main my main rings have been the red tearstone ring, um, the chloranthi ring, and the ring of blades, all plus two. Um, and it's really been a lot of fun. Like I've been getting into whips a lot. I've been invading, dueling, and um, you know it's interesting that a lot of people don't know how to counter whips. Um, it's not like you can dodge it as if it were a regular sword or a regular weapon. The moveset is somewhat closer to a twin blade, um, I'll bet with a, you know, it doesn't go 360 degrees, but um, it does do a clean 180 um, on the back step R1s and R, uh, what is that, L1s. Um, very, very difficult weapon to get used to, but um, once you do have the movesets down, it is beastly, and especially with this new update, I have been loving the whips, and uh, no doubt I'll be using them a lot more. Um, so I guess, I don't know, I guess my main weapons now are the arc sword and whips. I've really been enjoying those two. Um, I guess the main reason is they aren't parryable. Um, and you know what, like, you know, it does take skill to parry efficiently. Um, you know, not, not just spam it, but people who actually you know, have the timing down, are actually amazing at it. The thing I don't like about parries is the four to five seconds that you're on your butt. Like, you know, it made sense in Dark Souls 1. If you parried someone, you had, you know, a second, literally, to to react to it. And that seems realistic to me. What I don't like about the new parry is, why am I on my ass for four to five seconds? Like... Why, like, did did they magically cut my legs off <laughs> or something? Can I can I not get up? Like, is my is my elbow like damaged or something? Like, that's the part that doesn't make sense to me. Like, why are you on the ground without trying to fight for your fucking life? You know, for four to five seconds. But anyway, um, so I've been using non parables and you know, whips are definitely fun again. I love this update. Um. Pretty, pretty sure everything's good except for the um, uh, where the li lightning spear casts it seems a bit low. I mean, you know, everyone should have a weapon on them at all times. But what do pure casters, people who just want to go pure caster, do early game? Because it's like you only have two offensive faith base bills early. But I don't know. You know, overall, you know, there's a few negatives. Um, I wish they had done something about durability tied to FPS for the PC, um, as well as, you know, do something about shitboxes, I swear, man, like, 
especially the katana, that um, backstep R1 has an insane shitbox. And I don't know what's up with that, but I, I don't think that's lag. I, I think that's something else, because it seems to consistently happen with backstep R1s for uh, katanas, you know, that thrusting move. Yeah, it's just weird and wonky. But anyway, um, I don't want this to turn into a rant, even though it kind of did. Um, just suffice to say that I have been enjoying my dual whips again. And, um, you know, keep an eye out for more. Um, especially when the DLC comes. I'll be playing that, probably streaming it. I should probably be streaming right now, but I've been too lazy. Anywho, um, yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys later.